Val. Welcome to my channel, V Swain's Shoebox Sundays. So today I have an unboxing for you. This is a themed box for a girl age two to four, and it has a Crayola theme. The Crayola theme is a theme that I really enjoy packing. I have packed several Crayola boxes over the years. And this year I packed this one and I packed another one for a girl 10 to 14. And I'm just gonna show you this one today. So I packed this one in an OCC Go box and it's pretty full, got my label on. So this is what she'll see when she opens her box. On the lid, I adhered uh, just this little embellishment of this sweet little girl and she's sitting by this stack of books and paper and she has a box of crayons in her hands. And then I added some sticker letters with the phrase, color me happy. And then I wrote in my own handwriting, Jesus loves you. Okay, so I also have a, a card that I made that has that same image of that little girl with the box of crayons, but I also have a note to the child that I wrote and our family photo. She has a pencil sharpener and inside the pencil sharpener there is a heart-shaped coiled bracelet. Here is another heart-shaped coil bracelet and she will find some colored Crayola brand colored pencils. These are the mini colored pencils in pastel colors. There's eight of them in here and this is from Dollar Tree. She will find just a pad of paper, blank white paper for drawing, coloring, scribbling, and there are some school supplies on the cover including some crayons here. She will find this Crayola workbook, colors and shapes. So I believe that this is a perfect little workbook for a preschooler. The images are big and easily identifiable even without being able to speak and read in English. And there's even some pages that she could color in. So Colors and Shapes, Crayola brand workbook. I included this notebook for her. I loved the bright colors. It's a LOL character themed notebook. And it says hashtag be bold. She has some underwear and she has some colorful ponytail holders in here. And I think that's all I tucked into this organza bag. And she has, these are fun. I got these at Kohl's. They came in a two pack, I think a two pack or a three pack. And they are actually Crayola brand socks. And they're the kind that are non-skid. So they have this kind of a rubberized feel on the bottoms that spell out the word Crayola. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's, these are very cute socks. They're green in color, real good quality. She will find a bounce ball, very uh, bright colors, a purple based ball with some confetti on it in different colors. So she will find this sweet soft doll. This came from Walgreens a while back when it was on clearance, this little princess doll. I included her because I thought she looked a little bit like the little girl on the lid. These are the Crayola brand glitter crayons. Well, those are the ones I had in my stash, so that's what I packed. So she's got the little, the little girl holding the box of crayons. She has some number two pencils that are Crayola brand from Dollar Tree. She has eight of them. I love these. They're like gold pencils, but they have colorful erasers. Over the whole box, she has this Crazy Eights Crayola card game. 
This came from Wendy's in their kids meal. Uh, it is a canister and inside the canister are some crayons, some more crayons, and a, yes, it came with a few of these crayons and then I added a few more. And it also came with a coloring sheet that rolls out. She has this wooden roll along toy, which is the blue dog. I got that on clearance at Walmart. She has this little bear stuffy. I included this because I loved the colors. Reminded me of crayons. She has a little resealable plastic baggie here and inside I have a washcloth that's from Dollar Tree. It has it's pink and has rainbows and unicorns on it. She has some hair clips in here and she has a plastic cross shiny yellow in color on a cord to wear around her neck and she has a small green comb and some band-aids and a cute pink emery board in there that has heart shapes on it. She has a pencil pouch here. Uh, I left the pencils in their original packaging because I love the packaging and it says Crayola on there. Um, so I didn't put those in the pencil pouch, but inside the pencil pouch, I tucked in one of these colorful rainbow colored erasers, pen and gear from Walmart. Um, I think I got that last year. And she has some twist ups or twistable Crayola crayons. And then she has these cute shaped pieces that look like crayons. So she could use these however she would like to use them, but they're all in different colors. So I don't know, perhaps she could play a matching game with them or however she would like to use them. She could write her name on them and practice her writing. She has a pair of scissors and these are actually uh, Crayola brand scissors. A friend of mine gave these to me, donated these to me for my shoebox. She has a shirt. Got this on clearance at Walmart. It's really cute. It's a Crayola shirt. It says coloring, coloring it old school. And it has some crayons on it and it's a Crayola shirt. It says Crayola on it. That's real cute. And then it's, it's kind of a crop top. So I don't know. Maybe this young little girl doesn't want to show her belly button, so I in included a tank top underneath that kind of goes nicely with the color of the t-shirt. Oh, she has some dry erase markers because I believe that these will be a good addition to her crayon pieces that I just showed you because I believe they are dry erase. So she can use these dry erase markers with that. She has this small coloring book, Crayola coloring book, Little Book of Awesome is what it is called. And it has many sheets to color with very cute images. It fits nicely in my box. I don't remember where I got this, but you know what? I'll tell you what, I wish I had more. And she has, oh, she has a dry erase play mat. So pretty sure this is probably why I included the dry erase markers. But this is cute because I used scrapbook paper that had all these different school supplies on the paper. This is a smaller play mat than I usually create. But I think it's still a good size. As you can see, all the different school supplies, including crayons, scissors, pencils, ruler, 
you know, the things that I have included in the box for her. And then the back side is just plain white. So she has plenty of space to write and draw, erase and do again. And I included a image that I printed that shows a little girl using a dry erase marker on a dry erase mat. And then I wrote, use dry erase markers to write and draw on this mat, erase and start all over again. So I'll just put that inside, tuck that inside here like that. So she knows what this is for. She has a glue stick. I have all of her school supplies in here loosely. She has a purple comb. And that is the box. Maybe it seems like it's not quite a lot, but this doll, the wow item, actually takes up quite a room in the box. So, but I think she'll love this and she'll love her other toys and activities. So that is my Crayola themed shoebox that I packed for a little girl aged two to four. I love packing Crayola. So I, I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed packing it. And I will be back soon and show you the Crayola box that I packed for a girl 10 to 14. I actually have that same shirt in a larger size. And so I went with it and I packed a Crayola box for an older girl. So bye for now, friends. I enjoyed showing you this one. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye now.